Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn that how we can create scheduled actions in Odoo. Scheduled actions are basically the processes which use certain piece of code to perform specific tasks at a specific time every day, every week or every month or every year. So let's see that how we can create scheduled actions in Odoo. The scheduled action that I am going to create today will send a birthday reminder for employees if the birthday is due within seven days so let's jump in and see where we can see the scheduled action so let's go to settings and technical make sure that the developer mode is active and go to the technical menu and there if you scroll down you will find scheduled actions in this menu, you can find a list of all the scheduled actions that are configured in your Odoo system. Uh, we are going to create a similar one that will perform a specific task. So I have a list of employees here. For example, this employee, her birthday is due within seven days from today. So the system should send an email to a specific email or any user that we will define as a reminder for the birthday of this employee. So let's jump into my IDE PyCharm and uh, here I have a demo module already installed. Let's create a new file for our scheduled action and let's start defining the required parameters for our action. I will give a unique ID to this record and uh, let's say the ID will be cron underscore send employee birthday reminder or something. And the model that we are going to use for this is ir.cron. This is the table database table where all of your cron actions are stored in the database. So first things first, we are going to give a name to our cron action that would be send employee birthday reminder. Next, we are going to set up a parameter called active and we will set its value to true because we want this action to be active. So that the system can run it on the required time and date. Next we are going to set up a parameter called priority. This will define the priority of our scheduled action among other actions. So that the system will run in the required sequence. Next we are going to set up a parameter called interval type and this can be days or months or hours based on your own requirement in this case i am setting up days so that the scheduled action will run every day and even i will specify the time in a parameter below next we are going to define a parameter called interval number that will be one so it will run every day and our task will be performed every day next we have number call so if we specify a negative number in this parameter our scheduled action will run for an infinite number of times and if we define a positive number our action will run n number of times n being any number any integer that we will give here next we have next call and in this specific parameter i will define the time when the next call will be generated by the system every day
what I have specified here is that the system will run my schedule election every midnight at 12.01 am starting from current day next we are going to specify the model model id that our schedule action will be using and in our case i have a module name cron underscore demo you can mention your own module name here and i have a custom model hr employee birthday reminder that i'm using here you can use any model next we are going to specify the state of this scheduled action in this case we will be using code which means that this action will be using python code and it will be running that code snippet at the required time and in the code section we have to specify what is our python code in this case i am going to use a function from my model specified above you can use any custom function here or any python code snippet here in my case i have already created a function in my file the name of the function is sent birthday alert email i will not go in the details of how i am sending the email as this video is only about the scheduled action in a later video I will discuss that how we can send an email using Odoo. And that's it. Our scheduled action is ready. Let's go to manifest file. Insert this view. Once it's done, we can go on, install or update our module. Let's go to the scheduled actions menu again and let's see if our scheduled action is there. So you can check send employee birthday reminder is there. It has all the parameters that we have defined in our XML file. Now let's check out our scheduled action. I have a list of employees here. This employee has birthday due in 7 days. Let's fix the birth date and test our scheduled action. Let's run our scheduled action manually as the system will run it at midnight. So let's run it manually now and let's check if it works or not. Let's go to the email and check and here it is. It has sent the email for birthday reminder successfully. So this is how you can create a scheduled action in Odoo. If you liked the video and if you find this video informative, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you.